you know, my decision making on fourth down as far as what I what I think and when I think it. Um, but that's one I'm right there. I'm not I'm not considering going for at that particular time. Uh, we didn't get it. Uh, we punted. Um, you know, I didn't want to give them a short field after just one possession that they've they've had. So um, that's kind of that's a little bit of the reasoning behind it. The beginning of the game, halftime, things went out about four carries. What was the flow of the offense in the first half? And yeah, we what? just were we were just a little out of sync, obviously. Um, you know, we had the big play to Devonte. Besides that, we were just a little bit out of flow. That's always going to start with me. Uh, wasn't good enough. Um, obviously, we're not putting them in good enough positions. And so, you know, sometimes when you're in second and long, uh, and third and long, you're, and you're not continuing drives, it's easy to look at the stat sheet and say oh, they didn't run it enough. But you know, there's there's things that aren't being accounted for. You're in second and long. You're in third and long. It's not, there's nothing to say that you can't run it there, but it's going to be harder to pick up a first down in those scenarios. So whenever you're out of flow like that and not in sync like we were, um, it's going to be hard to get your get your carries when you're behind the sticks. And we had a two minute drive there as well. So hey, listen, uh, we need to, we need to be able to run it more. Obviously, we we weren't able to today to get into a flow, and that's that's on me. Those third and shorts in the season. Oh, uh, obviously we we were in a in a big slide and. You know, uh, anytime, anytime that's the case, I always look at myself first, and I didn't do a good enough job. And, and obviously, we lost five of the last six and lost today. Uh, and, and it's almost like you, you couldn't get out of the rut. We, were, we couldn't get out the rut we're in, and that's, and that's all of us. Uh, we'll all have to look ourselves in the mirror and, and accept that and, uh, you know, just find, find answers, find solutions. Uh, but obviously, you know, when you start 10-1, and one, um, you know, and then you and then you get into what what happened for us. Uh, obviously, that the expectations were high. Um, expectations were even higher when we started off ten and one, and we fell into a skid. So I will look at everything. I will look at, you know, obviously the play calling. I will look at the, um, you know, the scheme. I will look at, you know, practices. I will look at uh, everything, ev- everything that we're doing, um, because, you know, I think that the past two years, you know, did some things. Uh, um, we got hot a little bit at the end, um, and then this year wasn't that case. So anytime that's the case, you're going to look at, look for answers in those, in those scenarios, um, you know, because it's not always the, the answer isn't always like okay, we finished hot last year, lost our last game, um, do the same thing. You got to be able to adjust. We did some adjusting the things, but we'll look at everything. I'm sure you're looking at everything. Does that include potentially changing coordinators, especially on the defensive side? Yeah, I mean that, that's that's a little premature to talk through that. Um, Everybody in that locker room's hurting right now. Um, coaches, players, staff, every, everybody in that locker room's uh, hurting. And my job right now is to be there for them, be there for the guys. Um, we'll find we exactly. We'll get into all that. Uh, I'm not there yet, um, but um, yeah, we're hurting right now. Um, it's tough to you know to go out you know the way we did. This uh, hats off to the the Bucks. They had a good game plan. They did a good job. Um, but my mind right now is not. Is not there. You know, I got a lot of time to think about that. My mind right now is on the locker room, the guys, the coaches, um, all those, all those things. Nick, how do you think you guys did against the Blitz tonight? But are you concerned at all about your job? Like I just said to you know, like I just said over here, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about the guys. Um, again, there's a lot of guys in that locker room. All the guys in that locker room, every single one of them, that put their heart and soul into this. Um, I'm not worried about me. I'm not. I'm worried. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm. I'm. You know, as the head coach, uh, I'm just trying to be there for our guys and our staff right now. Um, you know, through a through a tough time. Um, you know, obviously, we, we didn't we didn't finish uh, anywhere near we wanted to finish. And uh, so again, my heart feels for these guys. You know, we're all taking it hard, and that's where my mind is right now. You know. Um, Obviously, it was it was almost a similar play that the safety that we got on them uh, with momentum, um, and so you know anytime a safety like that happens, it, it, it's a big momentum change, right? They were up sixteen and nine. I thought our defense was doing a good job, you know, at the beginning of the uh, end of the first half, beginning of the second half. Um, it kind of swung the momentum, uh, you know. There, um, you know, they made a good play, uh, and we didn't. Not necessarily. Um, I'll have to look at the tape of exactly what happened on that. Um, you know, he's trying to make a play. Uh, you know, that's what that he does. So many good things of making plays, and when he extends plays, when something's not there, and 
you know, you, you can't you can't get really excited ever. And and when game, he makes game plan, changing plays, and then you know, you know, crush him when he when something like that happens. And so he's made a lot more plays than he than he hasn't there in that particular case. You know, we got to put him in a better position to make a play to start things off. And then hey, uh, like I said, he's made a ton of plays that way. He's tried to make a play in that situation. Uh, didn't work this time. How do you think Jalen and the offense handled the blitz? An issue throughout the game. I'm, I'm, I'll get you. About that. Uh, it, through the weeks, and you mentioned early in the season, you guys were near the top of the league. When that sort of turns in a drastic direction, how do you look at that as a coach? Sure. Um, again, yeah, the you just got to look at how you're how you're going about uh, your business. It's it's you, tackling's a, is a tricky thing. Um, not a lot of teams are going to tackle live, right? I don't think any teams are going to tackle live, to be quite honest with you, um, especially late in the season. And so, you got to look at how you're drilling it. You got to look how you're, you know, the, the different technology that they have to help you drill it. Um, because obviously, you know, throughout the, the body of work of the season, it was good, but it wasn't as good in the last couple of weeks. I think that you can kind of look at everything. If you look at the body of work and a lot of different things this season. You know, the numbers may say one thing, but it wasn't good enough in the past month of the season, right? And so, again, that's going to go back to how we practice, all those different things. You know, I know we had a lot of guys healthy, and we only had two starters not here for this game. So part of you wants to say to yourself, well, all hands were on deck for the most part. Obviously, N'Kobe and Sydney, um, you know, A.J. would have been able to be back, I'm assuming. Um, but, you know, two guys out. Um, that were season-ending injuries. You want all hands on deck, but you also got to make sure that you're doing the right things to with, with practice. So we'll look at all that. We'll look at all that. Um, again, I'm not there yet with that. With that. Jalen and the offense handled the blitz tonight. Hey, I mean, scored nine points. So um, how, how do I, I think the better way to say that is how do you think the, the coaching staff and the players handled the blitz tonight? Because it's not just on one person, you know. Um, we didn't do a good enough job. Um, starts with me, but being able to put them in the right positions to help them make plays. Um, tried some different things. Uh, you know, hats off to them. They had a good game plan. We didn't, have, and we didn't coach or, or play well enough tonight. Kelsey was emotional coming off the field. Um, your thoughts on him particularly with the way he's been playing tonight? Yeah, I love him. I love him. Um, yeah, I don't. Obviously, we're not there at that that uh, position yet, or to talk ready to talk about that, or you know, but he's special, and, and I love him. Um, he's one of the most special guys I've been around. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, obviously, always, always, he's always got a place and uh, here, and you know, always want him to play. We'll see what happens as as uh, time progresses here. Given the way the last uh, second half of the season went. I guess what gives you the confidence that you can fix some of the problems that persisted? Yeah, uh, we we believe in ourselves. Uh, I'm not sitting in this room, um, be, you know, for any reason. And so, and it's the same thing with these guys. Um, I'm really not. I, I'm not built that way. I, you know, what gives me the confidence to think that we can fix it? Because we believe in ourselves, and we and we're we're in these seats at the, um, you know, at the top of our profession, um, because we worked our ass off to get here. Um, and I, I can promise you this, that nobody in that locker room thinks that way even a little bit. I don't know in what profession anyone does think that way like and doubts themselves, but sure as hell ain't us. What do your next, next few uh, days look like in terms of meeting with Jeffrey? And I know you said that your focus is on the players right now, and you'll get to have Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Again, like I said, I'm not there yet. I don't, I don't know exactly uh, quite yet. wasn't expecting it to end tonight. It did. And now I'll put together a schedule here uh, on the plane while at home and then tomorrow. Was there any specific the Bucks did on, on offense that really kind of let them move the ball uh, at will on you guys? Yeah, you know, they ran it well. I thought Baker did some good things, uh, you know, ha with some pressure things. that He made that really good play against Blitz Zero. Um, down the middle, was that the Godwin, I think? Um, you know, they, they, they got some really good players, and I thought they ran the football well, and hats off to them. Last one. You mentioned the, you mentioned the belief. I, go ahead. I got a guy. Nick, when you talked about not being able to get out of the rut uh, late in the season, do you look back at some of the decisions and wonder why they didn't work? Yeah, again, like, like I said, uh, anytime, like, I'm, I'm not going to, anytime we, we make a decision that doesn't work, um, 
I'm going to drag myself through the mud and, and, and attempts to get better from it. Um, you know, we don't we don't brush things by. We just we just look try to look for solutions. And obviously, our solutions weren't good enough um, near here near the end. Um, but uh, we'll go back to the drawing board as as we continue on. All right. All right. Cool.